Hello everybody, this is Robbie from Audiofire. In this video, we are going to use Sequitur with contact inside Logic Pro X and uh, this workflow will work in uh, any dough basically. What we're going to do, we are going to take one snapshot in the presets, guitar on films. I really like this one. Sounds like this. I'm just triggering with my keyboard. Okay. Um, I'm gonna record this whole thing in C minor, so I'm gonna switch on the key scale control and select C minor. So I'd like the rhythm of this phrase, but I'd like to change a few of the notes. So, so far it's like this. I'm gonna change this. to there, this one to there, this one to there. I'm gonna leave the F there, save. Bear in mind that when I press save, I'm just saving the phrases and all the effects within. I'm not actually saving the snapshot. So if suddenly I were to choose another snapshot, everything would be lost not only the sound, but also every phrase I've done. If I want to keep the phrase and everything, I'd better just save this one with a different name, uh, or if I don't mind deleting this snapshot. I strongly recommend to leave all the factory snapshots the way they are, and instead saving new user snapshots. Okay, uh, we edited one phrase, and we can also record one from scratch. So second phrase, I'm going to hit record and just play something. Save. L let's just change the velocity of the first one and press save. Okay, good enough for now. So now I can switch between the two phrases with the key switch here, the C minus one, and the C sharp minus one. Okay, at this point I want to input these notes in Logic. So I'm going to just record. One, two, three, four. Okay, um, as you can see, let's make this bigger. Not only I recorded the, the note that triggers the phrase in that key, but also the key switches that change the phrases. So this is the first phrase, this is the second phrase. You see when I just select this, it changes the first one, this is the second one. Now, uh, even though it didn't seem so much out of sync, uh, it's always better to double check and maybe quantize. Um, so I'm going to go here and quantize four, one fourth is good enough. Let's play it back. Okay. It's always important that we keep the very first key switch before the very first note. Because uh, if we were like to play from this point onwards, or maybe a different part of the song, when we go back, it wouldn't trigger the first phrase that we decided to have as a first one, but it would trigger the last phrase that has been triggered by the last key switch that has been recorded. So that's one thing to remember. So always make sure that you record all the key switches that you need to change the phrases. It's a little bit more like when you're recording instruments like violins with all the, the articulations that you need. It's the same thing, basically. So, so far we just recorded one note, um, but I switched on the key scale control. This allows me also to play different notes and stay always within C minor. So I might want to record something else here.
Okay, uh, the way Sequitor has changed um, my nodes in order to fit this in the minor was fine until a certain point. I have the choice here to change from semitone down to semitone up. What this does is it pushes a note which is not within the scale or a semitone up or a semitone down. If it finds a note that is within the scale, then it's going to play that one. If also the next semitone is not within the scale, it will push further to the next semitone and so on. I think it's better for this to be on semitone up and just let's have a listen before let's quantize, you never know. Like, like quarter. Okay, so uh, if I wanted to put these two phrases together without any gap, I'll just move this, merge them, so I can see them both at the same time. Now I'll do a little editing. I could have played the whole thing actually in real time, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I just want to show you this. This is the key switch. I'm just going to put it exactly on beat one. So at this point... You see that this one, I played it a bit earlier than the beat one of the following bars. So uh, what happens is sequitur is actually changing from phrase one to phrase two on beat four of this bar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put it there at the beginning of bar. Okay, sounds good. Let's do one more thing. Let's play a different kind of rhythm on the keyboard and let's change the notes while the phrase is still going, so in the middle of the phrase. So. Okay, at this point, um, I'm going to quantize as, as well. Um, now, if we hear it back, it's showing this is my key switch to start um, the first phrase. If we hear it back, we see that sequitur is triggering always from the beginning, but I'd like the shape of the phrase to keep on flowing. So what I need to do, I can use the legato function, which is triggerable from this key switch. Now, uh, the legato function will work perfectly if all the notes are perfectly quantized. So I'll open this. And insert the legato key switch activation exactly after the very first note. So sequitur will pick up from the first note of the phrase here and then continue flowing. Okay, so this one is the key switch that activates the legato mode, and this one is the key switch that deactivates the legato mode. We can put this one at the end. We don't know yet what's going to happen after that, but we could also put it before. Uh, yeah, to make sure that 
at the very beginning of the first phrase, there is no legato. So the phrase will start from the first note. Let's see what Seguitor is doing. Here is Seguitor back. So let's see what he's doing. Legato off, legato on. And you see that the phrase is continuing. So it's a good practice to record all these key switches because you never know if you're in a different point of the song then you come back and the legato is not triggered or the right phrase is not triggered and so everything will be kind of messed up. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and please go and visit audiofire.com. Secretary is available now. Thank you. Bye.